Today I'm going to show you how I use Canva to create printable wall art to sell on Etsy. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tatiana. This video is actually part two of my series where I'm building a brand new Etsy shop from scratch and I'm bringing you along with me every step of the way. So this digital product niche is one that's new to me, but selling digital products isn't new to me. A couple years ago, I started an Etsy shop in a different digital product niche and I quickly became a top seller in my niche. And I thought it would be fun to experiment with a different type of digital product. That way I can compare the results of my two shops. Now I don't have any background or training and graphic design so that's why I pretty much do everything in Canva so let's just jump right into it I'm gonna bring you with me over to Canva and we'll create the first piece of digital art for my shop okay so I've got Canva pulled up and just so that way you can see in case you're following along and designing with me the dimensions by my design are 59 by 84 centimeters now I don't have any experience or background with creating digital art so I want to make this really really simple and minimalistic so I'm thinking that I'm gonna focus on text-based designs and designs with really simple graphics now I have Canva Pro but you don't need Canva Pro to create digital art like this and it's really important that if you also have Canva Pro that when you're creating digital art that you substantially transform each of the elements that you're using in your design. So you don't want to pick a Canva Pro element and slap it on a blank background and then sell that as your art because that's not only immoral but it's also illegal because you're stealing someone else's intellectual property. You're more than welcome to use Canva Pro elements in your design just make sure that you make them a part of your design and not the focal point of your design. Okay let's get started with creating my first piece of wall art. So like I said earlier, I want to keep this really simple and I want to do like a quotes based text based design. This design is going to be inspired by the research that I did in the first video of the series. In that video, I did a little deep dive into the Etsy algorithm to see what types of digital art were selling really well on Etsy. So I'm going to be drawing inspiration from those art styles and I'll be keeping those trends in mind while I'm designing my own art. If you want to watch that video and see how much different sellers in different digital art niches were actually making on Etsy every month, I'll drop a link to that video in the description box below. Okay, let's get started with this design. So I want to start off by just writing a really simple quote. So I'm going to go to my toolbar over here on the left and select text, and then I'll just select subtitle. Okay. And now that I've got my subtitle, I am going to hover over this circle on the top left hand corner of the box. And then I'm going to click and drag it over to the left to make the text bigger. Okay. And now I'm going to type my text. Okay. Now I have my quote chosen. So I'm going to change the font to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So in order to do that with the text box still selected, and I know that it's selected because it has this purple line around it. So with it selected, I'm going to go up to the very top of my screen here and select pop-ins. This is just the name of the font that this text currently has. So when I select that, I'll be able to look at some different fonts and I'm going to go with this holiday font, which looks a little bit handwritten. Okay. So I just resized my font and I don't really love the spacing in between the words. So I'm going to, with the text still selected, go up to the top of my screen and select this T with the arrows on both sides. That will allow me to change the spacing of the text. So I don't want to change the letter spacing because that'll change the space between the actual letters in each of the designs, but I want to slide down line spacing so the lines of text are a little closer. Okay, and now I've got this very simple but aesthetically pleasing text, and I think that this could go really, really well in like a set of six. In my last video, I showed you a few different best-selling digital art print gallery bundle products, and, and even though I'm not sure if this would sell well on its own because it's so simple, I think if I put it in a gallery wall and gave it like a color scheme, that it could make a nice addition to that gallery. So because I kind of like the simplicity of this for like a minimalistic vibe, I'm actually going to keep this design as it is and I'm going to duplicate it. So in order to duplicate it, I just go up to my screen on the top right hand corner where these little squares with a plus sign are and I will click that. And then now I've got two versions of this poster design. So I want to keep this first one just so that way I could potentially use it and sell it in my shop. But I'm going to go down to the second one and I'm going to edit it a little bit because maybe I want to make the design a little bit more intricate just in case I want to sell it as its own poster. And again, for this first one, I'll likely leave one version with the text black and then maybe I'll duplicate it and make one version red, one version blue. So that way I can sell it in different gallery wall bundles. Okay, so now I'm on my second design and I've selected elements on the toolbar here and I'm just going to type in some sort of abstract background that I can use to make this design a little bit more decorative. Okay, I think that these lines look really interesting. I'm not sure how this will look with the font that I chose, but I'm going to try this one out. It's sort of like a grid, but it's like uneven. So I've got this on my design now and with it selected, I'm just going to click it and drag it up and then I'm going to hover over the line on the bottom right and drag it all the way out. And I want to make sure that this covers the entire screen 
green. So I'm going to drag it until there's no edges of the lines visible. All right, so as you can see, this is definitely clashing with the text here, but I'm gonna try to make it work. So with it still selected, I'm gonna go up to the top here and th this little grid, when you hover over it, it says transparency. So I'm gonna select this grid and then bring the transparency down. And then I'm going to change the position all the way to the back and see if changing the color makes it a little bit better. Okay, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I think because this font is like kind of rounded and organic, it kind of clashes with this background here. So I'm gonna delete it and I'll look for a different background. Let's just go with this one up here, which is just regular plain lines. They kind of look sort of watercolor drawn, which I think could work really well. All right, I think this background looks a lot better already. So I'm going to increase the size so that way it covers the entire background of this design. Okay, I think that looks really good. This is a Canva Pro element. So because this design is so simple, I definitely want to change the color of this element. That way it's not in its original state. So in case you're not sure how to change the color, Color. All you do is select the element and then go up to the top here where the colors are visible and just select one and then you'll be able to create a new color. You can either pick a new color here from the list of options or you can go to this wheel with a plus sign on it and select it and then you can alter the color here. So I think maybe I'll go with like a deep green color, maybe like a sage green and then maybe I'll bring down the transparency a bit and maybe, maybe for the text I can make the text like a really really dark green. Okay. I can definitely see this one being a piece of a gallery wall with like a sage green naturalistic sort of theme. And I think that we're off to a really good start here. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this design and make different color variations of it. So in order to do that, I'll go up to the top right here and select duplicate, and then I'll select the background, change the color, and I'll just change it to maybe like an orange color or maybe like a red. And then I'll select the text and I'll change that color to a red color as well. Okay, I think that looks cute. Okay, now I have to make like 500 more of these and I need to make different designs that go with this piece of art and I need to do it really fast because my goal is to make $5,000 within my first 90 days of launching my shop. So I'm going to be creating as many designs as possible. So if you wanna watch my process for creating some other designs, you can head over to my channel and I'll probably post those as shorts. And if you're interested in creating printable art as well, I'll turn this design that we created here together into an editable template and I'll link it in the description box below. And that template's completely free. I'm just gonna share it with you in case you wanna use it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can follow along while I build this brand new Etsy shop from scratch. I'm super excited to see how this Etsy shop ends up stacking up against my first Etsy shop. And let me know in the comments what you think about my goal to hit $5,000 in 90 days of launching. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.